This is Jessica Williamson, and you're watching Zaproot. What could possibly be better than a real tree at sucking CO2 out of the air? A plastic one? Artificial CO2 filtering trees are in the testing phase in Arizona right now. These trees, made of multiple filters and coated in a plastic resin, may soon be all the rage in the carbon credit crowd. When air passes over the filter, the CO2 sticks to the resin and turns it into soda ash. And then you can clean the filters and use them again. Sounds a bit stupid, right? Not when one 20-inch filter can offset all the carbon emissions for one American for an entire year. That's 1,000 times more efficient than the average tree. But what are we do with all this carbon once we get it? Well, we could bury it in underground mines, or it's denser than water so we could sink it deep in the ocean, but that sounds like trouble just waiting to happen. Some seem to think we might be able to turn it into a fuel source. Mm, but isn't that how we got here in the first place? We weren't sure that McCain could make his ticket any less green unless he had a T Boone Pickens to it. But it seems Sarah Palin will do the trick just as well. In one of her first interviews as McCain's running mate, she said, A changing environment will affect Alaska more than any other state because of our location. I'm not one though that would attribute it to being man made. If this wasn't enough, she loves and has proposed gas pipelines, doesn't think the polar bear and the beluga whale should be on the endangered species list. She loves hunting, as this caribou can tell you firsthand, or this grizzly bear that ended up as a couch cover in her Alaska office. She even endorses aerial shooting of bears and wolves, opposed to clean water initiative, and sought to eliminate Alaska's gas tax, which takes money away from building roads and bridges. She'd enjoy drilling for oil in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, just not on the first date. But Sarah Palin loves oil so much she married it. Her husband works for BP. Free Chico bags are back, and this time they're badder than ever. So go to our community site, sign up, and send us a message saying you want a free Chico bag. People will be selected at random each week. Free stuff doesn't get much easier than that. I just don't get it. There's this box in my building that gets stuffed with all this paper every day. Some guy in tiny shorts shows up and stuffs it. I've been told that people used to communicate this way before Twitter. I don't know. The whole thing sounds kind of fishy to me. But then it's my responsibility to get rid of it and make room for more stuff. So please, carpet cleaners, credit card companies, AOL, stop sending me this Fortunately, our friends at Sustainablog have offered some great solutions. For junk mail, check out the free service ProQuo.com or go straight to the source and get your name removed from the Direct Market Association. For a small fee, there are services that will stop your junk mail called Green Dimes and 41 Pounds, which refers to the weight of junk mail you receive each year. And you know you don't need paper catalogs anymore, so check out the free service at catalogchoice.org. And I understand how dangerous all those credit card offers can be. All that World of Warcraft can get really expensive. You can get rid of credit card offers for free at optoutscream.com now that you've gotten rid of all that paper, don't worry, you don't have to miss the latest issue of The Scottish Farmer, Bonsai Passion, or American Cowboy. Check out Zinio. It's a digital magazine service. All the links are in our show notes. So what's your excuse now? Well, that's a wrap. Get it? Paper? Wrap? Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and be sure to check us out at zaproot.com. Want some free stuff? Well, buygreen.com is looking to give it to you. Sign up on our community site, add a blog entry. You can use pics and videos, and the best blog entry this week will receive this. Sponsored by buygreen.com. And don't forget, there's a link in our show notes. Hey YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.